This is question one. Here we're asked to write these numbers in order of size and we're asked to start with the smallest number. We're also asked to show clearly how we got our answer. So in order to do this, let's first start writing these out. So first of all, two to the power of five. Now two to the power of five, I can say is two times two times two times two times two. That's what that power of five means. It just means that we're multiplying that number by itself five times. So two times two times two times two. Uh, this gives us two times two is four times two again is eight times two again is 16 times two again is 32. Next one, we've got 64 to the power of a half. So when we have got something to the power of a half, or if we've got a fractional power, the denominator of the power tells us what root we are going to take of the base. So because we have got a denominator here of two, we are going to take the second root, or we can also think of this as being the square root. So we're going to take the square root of 64, and we're going to say that that is 8. Next one, we've got 4 cubed. Well, that's just going to be 4 times 4 times 4, which is going to give us uh, 64. So 4 times 4 for 16, times 4 for 64. The next one, we've got 8 to the power of 1 third. And again, what we said before is also true here. We are going to take the third root of the base. So we are going to take the cube root of 8. And so to answer this question, we need to ask ourselves what multiplied by what multiplied by what will give us 8. And so we can say that that value is going to be 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 makes 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. Then we've got 16, which obviously we don't need to do anything with. And then we've got 64 to the power of 0. So 64 to the power of 0 is simply 1. Anything to the power of 0, any quantity to the power of 0 is 1. OK, so we are asked to put these in order of size, starting with the smallest number. We've now got answers for all of these. So our smallest one here is 64 to the power of 0. Then the next smallest after that is 8 to the power of a third. The next smallest after that is 64 to the power of a half. Um, the next one after that is, uh, that's just going to be 16. And then we've got 2 to the power of 5 and 4 cubed. So, final answer, starting with the smallest, 64 to the power of 0, 8 to the power of 1 third, 64 to the power of a half, 16, 2 to the power of 5, and then 4 cubed.